Flow Wisdom presents Your Attitude is Your Window to the World by Jeff Keller. Book Summary Your Attitude is Your Window to the World The author starts with an example of two people, Sarah and Sam, who went to a coffee shop. Sarah entered the shop charmingly with a smile on her face. Whereas Sam entered the shop with a frowned face and a hunched back looking all tensed. They were served by the same waitress and waited for the same amount of time to get their food and a check. However, they both had a contrasting experience at the coffee shop. Sarah had a delightful lunch and went back to work with a recharged battery, whereas Sam was annoyed at how long it took for his meal to arrive. He complained about the food and was furious when he did not get his check right away. This explains that the experience we have can be altered if we change our own attitude. Our attitude is like a mental window of our life through which we see the outer world. We all start with a clean window. As we grow older, the window starts to accumulate some dirt. This dirt doesn't let us see through the window clearly, and we end up with our previous perspective version of the outer world, which is continuously changing. We aren't able to see the changes the world is going through and hence fail to change with it. This results in missing the right opportunities leading to failure. However, changing the outcome is very much possible. We only need to change our attitude and keep our mental window clean. Instead of saying I can't, say I can. Instead of pointing out problems, look for solutions. Picture your way to success. If you can dream it, you can do it. Visualize your success. Visualization is a powerful technique to convert your thoughts into reality. Before starting to work towards any of your goals, you must first visualize the desired result in your mind. Paint a vivid image of your desired outcome with all the details like the kind of house you want, the amount of money you desire, kind of person you want to be with. Be clear about the things and goals you want to achieve. Make a commitment and you will move mountains. If you are willing to do whatever it takes to achieve your goals, you can definitely achieve it. Once you commit yourself towards the end result, you will be able to create a mental movie of the same. It helps in attracting the people and circumstances you require to reach your target. Turn your problems into opportunities. Often problems aren't even problems, they are opportunities in disguise. Whenever you have a problem in your life, instead of getting yourself trapped into a web of negativity, ask yourself how you can overcome it. You always have a choice. You can either keep yourself occupied with the pool of problems or you can learn from them. If you build such an attitude, then there is nothing that can stop you. Learn how to turn your problems into opportunities. Adversities change our perspectives and teach us important life lessons. Making necessary changes in our life unleashes your hidden potential, changes our perspective, helps in building confidence and self-esteem. Your words blaze a trail. Your words carry more importance than you realize. They have a hidden potential which could even alter your personality. The words you say to yourself shapes your beliefs which in turn affects your actions and eventually leads you to the results. Thoughts, words, beliefs, actions, results. Let's imagine that you work in sales and you think that I'm not very good when it comes to sales. Then you make fun of it with your friends, I'm never going to do very well in sales. Now this strengthens your beliefs which leads you to not focus on enhancing your skills and you eventually become a terrible salesperson. Always be careful and keep a check on words you use. How are you? When someone asks, how are you? Our response generally lies in three categories, positive, negative, and mediocre. We should always respond with a positive and upbeat attitude. That's because the response is not only for the person asking you the question, but also for your subconscious mind. If you provide a negative response, you set in motion the process of attracting negative people around you. If your reply is in a positive tone, you attract circumstances which lead you to more positive feelings. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Nobody wants to be associated with people always complaining about something be it their headache or their neighbor's dog. It's healthy to share your bad life experiences or major problems with your friends and family, but don't overdo it. If you do complain, it might have a negative effect on you. Complaining reinforces your own pain and discomfort. 
Complaining accomplishes nothing and distracts you from constructive actions. Stop complaining. Instead, count your blessings. Associate with positive people. There are two kinds of people, toxic people and nourishing people. Toxic people dwell on the negative. They try to drag you down to their level. They tell you about all of the things that you can't do. And they suck all the positive energy out of you. Nourishing people are positive, enthusiastic, and supportive. They are a joy to be around and make you feel better. They add to your strength to vigorously pursue your goals. Add up more positive people in your life and cut off the toxic people that are compromising your mental peace. Confront your fears and grow. He who loses wealth loses much. He who loses a friend loses more. But he who loses courage loses all. Miguel de Cervantes If you don't face your fears, this is what happens. Your self-esteem is lowered. You feel powerless and frustrated. You sabotage your success. You lead an uneventful, boring life. If you want to be successful, you must be willing to be uncomfortable. If you want to achieve your goals, you have to step out of your comfort zone. The road to success is often filled with obstacles. Nobody is an overnight success. Get out there and fails. Success is going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. Winston Churchill People learn from their mistakes and failures. It is a necessary part on the road to victory. Get better with each failure. Wisdom is learning from failure. Failure strengthens our resolve and builds perseverance in the face of adversity and hardship. Michael Jordan is one of the greatest basketball players of all time, and here's what he said. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times, I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. So embrace your failures and build discipline in your actions. This was released from For the Sake of Education by Flow Wisdom. If the content was helpful, make sure to subscribe.